Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're in the one year Bible reading plan from May the 23rd. And there's this lovely chapter from John 13 here, um, which has an iconic story in it. Picking up in verse three, Jesus knew that the father had given him authority over everything and that he had come from God and would return to God. So he got up from the table, took off his robe, wrapped a towel around his waist and poured water into a basin. Then he began to wash the disciples' feet, drying them with the towel he had around him. Strange circumstance, isn't it? Odd behaviour. The disciples are quite disturbed by it. Peter himself says, what, are you going to wash my feet? They don't know what to do with it. But Jesus carries on. And, and, and verse 12, he says this, After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, Do you understand what I was doing? Well, you're washing our feet, Jesus. Yeah, but do you understand what I was doing? Do you understand the significance of it? Something really important I want to teach you on the eve of my crucifixion. You call me teacher and Lord, Jesus goes on, and you are right because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. This is a discipleship lesson from Jesus. And it's so important. We are to be servants. Now that is radically countercultural, because we live in a consumer society, in an entitlement culture, which tells us that we're here to be served. We're here to receive from others. But actually the way of Christ Jesus teaches here is about serving others. It's about washing the feet of others, whatever that might mean today. When I was ordained to the ministry, I was given a number of objects, symbolic objects, to remind me about what ministry should be. Ministry means service, and uh, I was presented with a dustpan and brush uh, as a symbol of how I should be, as a leader, getting down on my hands and feet and serving the people who I'm leading. Now, that's not just a leadership principle. That's a way, a discipleship fundamental that we're called to serve others. So perhaps today, as we go about our business, as we drive to work, or as we walk along the corridors, or as we engage with people in all sorts of ways, look at their faces. Think, I'm here to serve this person. What acts of humility and service can we offer to people? And I believe that as we do that, our lives will glow with a kind of divine authority that will witness to Christ the servant king.